Welcome to lecture number 44 of the series Unreal 5 for Arcways and in this lecture we'll animate this window by using blueprint such that when our character will come closer to this window the window will move on x axis and will allow the character to pass through this entrance okay so let's get started first of all what we need to do is I'll select this window frame and its glass and let's reset its position on x axis now I'll go into the modeling mode Let's search for this window in the content browser and now I'll select both of them and I'll merge both of them into a single object. I'll change the new asset location to current folder and I'll accept this change. Now I'll go into the pivot options and let's set the pivot point at the bottom and I'll accept this change. Let's go back into the selection mode. Okay. Now I'll go into the content folder. I'll create a new folder. I'll rename this as blueprints. I'll open this folder and let's create a new folder. I'll rename this as sliding window. Okay. Now I'll select this window. I'll go into the blueprints menu and I'll select convert selection to blueprint class. I'll change this to harvest components. Let's find a directory to save this blueprint file. I'll go into blueprints. I'll select this folder. I'll press OK. And I'll rename this blueprint as sliding underscore window underscore blueprint. OK. And now it will create a blueprint of this window in this folder. OK. Let's open this blueprint. And in the viewport, we'll have this window. Okay, let's go into the event graph. I'll delete all of these. Let's go back into the viewport. So the idea is such as this. Our first person character will come closer to this window. The window will move on X axis, allowing the first person character to pass through the entrance. Okay, so first what we need to do is we need to define the area around this window. For that, I'll go into the add menu and let's search for Collision. I'll select box collision and by using this box collision I'll define an area around this window okay let's scale this on x axis I'll scale this on y now what we need to do is we need to go into the event graph and program our blueprints such that our first person character will collide with this box collision. The window will slide on X axis so that our character can pass through. Okay. Let's go into the event graph. Make sure your box collision is selected. Let's go into the viewport and I'll rename this static mesh component as window. I'll go into the event graph. Make sure your box collision is selected. And in the details panel, I'll add this node, not this one, this node. Okay, on component begin overlap. Now I'll connect this node with my first person character. Okay, so I'll search for BP underscore this one, BP underscore first person character. This one, okay. Now I'll bring in this window in the event graph and I'll connect this window with relative location. If you want to change the rotation values, you can search for relative rotation. And same is the case for the scale as well. But I want to change the location value. So I'll search for relative location. And I'll select this node. Yeah, I'll connect this node with this one. Okay. And let's say I want to move my window on X axis by 150 units. I'll compile this blueprint. Let's minimize this window. And now in our scene, you can see this window with the box clean. Okay. Yeah. Let's run this level. And let's collide our character with this box clean. And as you can see that when our character collided with the box clean, our window moved on X axis. 
okay but right now it is moving in the opposite direction so so let's open the blueprint and I'll change this value to negative 150 I'll compile this blueprint let's play this level and let's collide our first person character with this box collision and now as you can see that our window is moving in opposite direction okay yeah now one thing that I don't like about this blueprint is that let's play this level when I collide my character with this window my window suddenly changes its position on x-axis but I want this animation to be very smooth I don't want this sudden movement okay so for that what we need to do is I'll press escape on my keyboard to exit the simulation I'll open this level let's uh, select these two nodes I'll place them here and let's add a timeline node okay yeah I'll connect this node with play and I'll connect this update node with this one okay let's open this timeline let's add a float track I'll reduce the length of this timeline to 2 seconds and now I can animate my window by using keyframes okay so I'll press and hold shift on my keyboard and I'll press left mouse button to add a keyframe let's set the location of this keyframe at 0 okay I'll add another keyframe by pressing and holding shift on my keyboard and I'll select left mouse button let's set the position of this keyframe at 2 and at this keyframe I want the value of negative 150 okay let's compile the blueprint I'll go into the event graph and we need to do one more thing we need to connect this track with our x location but first what we need to do is we need to split these nodes and now I can connect this node with x axis okay let's compile this blueprint and let's play the simulation and now when I'll collide my first person character with the box collision the window will slide on x-axis very smoothly okay let's press escape to exit the simulation I need to do one more thing I'll open this blueprint and uh, in the timeline let's fit this line graph I'll select this keyframe and I'll set this value to negative 190 maybe okay and now I'll select these two keyframes and I'll set the keyframe interpolation to auto to make this animation non-linear okay let's compile this blueprint I'll play this level and now as you can see that our window is sliding on x-axis very smoothly okay let's uh, change this value to maybe like negative 210 okay I'll compile this blueprint I'll play this level this is perfect let's do one more thing I'll play this level let's say I want to close this window when I'll move away from the box collision for that what we need to do is let's open this blueprint I'll go into the event graph I'll select this collision and let's add this node on component and overlap yeah I'll copy this node I'll press ctrl C and ctrl V on my keyboard okay I'll connect this node with this one and I'll connect my other actor node with this one and now I'll connect this node with reverse let's compile this blueprint I'll play this level now when I'll collide my first person character with the box collision my door will open and when I'll move away from this window the door will automatically close okay let's try this again let's go inside
the window will open and while I'll move away from this window it will automatically close Let's say I want the same functionality for this window as well. Okay. For that, I'll select these two. I'll go into the modeling mode and I'll merge them into one object. But first, we need to search for this window in the content browser. Now, I'll select these two objects the window frame and the glass itself. And I'll merge both of them into a single object. Let's go into the pivot options. I'll set the pivot at the bottom. Okay. Now making sure my window is selected, I'll go into blueprints and I'll select this option. I'll change this to harvest components. Let's find a folder. I'll select the same folder and I'll rename this as sliding underscore window. underscore living room okay now I'll open the event graph of the previous window I'll select all of them I'll press ctrl c on my keyboard to copy these nodes and I'll open the event graph of the living room window I'll delete all of these I'll press ctrl v on my keyboard to save everything and let's compile the blueprint yeah we have a few errors let's delete these two nodes okay I'll go into the viewport of the previous window I'll select the box collision I'll press ctrl c on my keyboard to copy this collision and I'll paste this collision in here as well okay now I'll go into the event graph making sure my collision is selected I'll go into the details panel and I'll add this node. I'll connect this node with this one and I'll connect this node with the object. Okay. Similarly, I'll bring in this node and I'll connect this node with this one and this node with the object node okay yeah let's delete this static mesh component and I'll rename the static mesh component of the living room window as window underscore living room okay let's bring this static mesh component into the event graph and I'll connect this node with the target okay let's compile the blueprint Let's play this level. Let's collide the first person character with the box collision. And when I'll move away from the box collision, my window will close itself. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, select this window. And I'll move this on Y axis. Uh, let me disable the snapping or maybe place it right here okay yeah I think this is okay yeah let's open this blueprint and I'll open the timeline I'll select this keyframe and I'll change this value to positive 210. Let's compile this blueprint and let's play this level. Yeah, now my window will slide on positive x axis. Okay, let's open this blueprint again because I think it is sliding too far away.
I'll select this keyframe and I'll change this value to maybe 130 yeah let's play this level let's change this to maybe 110 okay I'll play the level yeah I think this is okay yeah yes so yes that's it for this lecture in today's lecture we learned how we can animate our windows and link those windows with the first person character okay in the next lecture we'll interlink our window first person character and this curtain and we'll do some further modification with our blueprints because right now if i play this level the curtains are blowing even when the window is closed the curtains should only blow when the window is open okay so in the next lecture we'll interlink our window our first person character and these curtains so that our curtains will only blow when the window is open okay so yes, I'll see you guys in the next lecture.